On the 29th of May 1453, after a violent and merciless siege of 53 days by the forces of the Ottoman Empire under Sultan Mehmed II, the city of Constantinople, the last bastion of the Byzantine Empire, finally fell, spelling its doom. While Byzantium had been but a shadow of its former glory for the last several centuries, the Eastern Roman Empire had still succeeded in outliving its Western counterpart by almost a thousand years. But why did the East manage to survive for so much longer than the West? Well, one major problem that the Western Roman Empire had were the incredibly long land borders that they shared with migratory Germanic and Celtic tribes that lived in relatively decentralized communities and began pushing into Roman territory quite aggressively during the Great Migrations of the 5th century AD. The Byzantines, by contrast, had mostly sea borders, desert borders, or such borders that they shared with centralized and consolidated empires, such as the Persian Sassanid Empire. As such, they were less prone to migratory tribes settling on their territory. Furthermore, the economy of the East was much more diversified than the mostly agrarian Western Empire. Byzantium was the center point of the ancient Mediterranean world by the 5th century AD, combining innumerable important trade routes within itself. Finally, the city of Constantinople itself was incredibly hard to attack. Being surrounded by water on three sides and defended by the multi-layered Theodosian walls on the other. In fact, Constantinople supposedly survived 23 sieges until its eventual fall to Mehmed II in 1453. Now as always, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe and become a channel member to enjoy exclusive benefits.